Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I leave for Minnesota. Um, this is an exciting trip, but it's also my last trip of the summer, which is so sad. I traveled a ton this summer, and I'm so thankful for it. Um, it's literally been the best summer of my lifetime. At Minnesota, we have a wedding we're going to for a friend named Emily and her fiance, Drake. I'm super excited for this wedding. I'm gonna see a lot of people I haven't seen in a long time, and I just think it'll be a really good time. Um, but tonight we have a rehearsal, and then tomorrow's the wedding, and then we come home Saturday, so we'll be there for three days. So I didn't really need to pack a ton. I just packed, this is like my carry-on bag for the flight. I put everything in there. And then this is what I'm wearing. It's this shirt I got from a thrift store in Colorado, and then I just have black Nike shorts and then I'm wearing my black chacos this fleece hoodie from American Eagle earbuds and my lanyard oh also this is a huge inconvenience I wake up this morning and all my offline music that I have like downloaded on my phone has to be re-downloaded because of some like system update thing I'm gonna be so sad if I don't have music for the flight but it'll be okay this is gonna be a really good three days it's just me and my dad which we've never taken a trip one-on-one -on -one. So that'll be interesting and fun. So I'm gonna finish getting the rest of my stuff together and I'm gonna be vlogging this whole weekend. So I will see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, we landed, we got to the hotel, we hung out for a little bit and then I just finished getting ready for a rehearsal and dinner thing we have for the wedding. So I'll show you what I'm wearing this morning. Um, this is, I've worn this in a video before. I'm wearing these jeans, which are new, and then black chacos. This shirt, which I honestly have no clue where I got it. Then this, like, over jacket thing that I really, really enjoy. And this necklace that I wear pretty often. It's the Four King Country necklace. Okay, I'll keep you guys updated. Here we're uh, vlogging for Laney yeah. Ray. So Carly, how's it feel to uh, possibly be part of the cut? I'm a little nervous. Um, I want to make good impression, but uh, I hope that's a good angle. <laughs> I'm just really excited. Hopefully she doesn't see. Hopefully it's a surprise. Right. I don't have any food in my teeth, right? No, you're good. I wonder what Emily thinks. Oh my gosh, she does. Um, I'm just way honor. This is being vlogged. I'm the bride. Hi. I'm the bride. This is really great. And then these are just. You know, the rest of us who are just... So we gotta go before she sees us. Wow, it's been a hot second since we've talked. I woke up at 8.30. The reason why is because last night at the wedding rehearsal we were at, afterwards there was a dinner. And you know, at this dinner things were fine. I was talking to my friend Carly, hadn't seen her in a long time. My dad's coming back. What up? So I was talking to my friend Carly, and then I started to be like, wow, I'm really not feeling too well, you know? I made eye contact with my friend Jessica and her sister Nicole. I'm like, I'm just not feeling well. And we were just talking about how I wasn't feeling well and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I have to go to the bathroom. So I get up, run to the bathroom, throw up all she over. Met Ralph. And I haven't thrown up in literally a really long time. So then we left the wedding rehearsal. I came back, I showered, I, I slept in a lot. I'm feeling so much better now. I don't even feel sick. I feel like it was just something I ate. Like I don't think I have the flu or anything. So yeah, it was nothing contagious or anything, but that really sucked. But tonight we have the wedding. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. I've been reading through the book of Hebrews and there's a verse that I was like, wow. But Jesus came to the earth so he could die on a cross for our sins. So we didn't have to make sacrifices to be forgiven for our sins and then since he died on the cross for our sins that's how we can spend eternal life in heaven is by giving our life to Christ and um, just like believing what he did on the cross anyway it's in Hebrews 9 28 it says so Christ having been offered once to bear the sins of many will appear a second time not to deal with sin but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him that's just such an encouraging verse it's Hebrews 9 28 so can I get an amen? Amen. Woo! Hey guys. Hi guys. So we're just getting ready to leave. It's like lunchtime. We're gonna go get lunch and then um, probably go to the Mall of America, question mark? But this is the outfit today. I don't really like it, but I threw up on the thing I was gonna wear today because I only wore it for like an hour yesterday, so I was thinking I could pack less and wear it again today. 
but that didn't happen because I threw up on it. So I'm wearing this striped shirt. Don't really remember I got it, but I wear it kind of often. And then these jeans and black chacos. My hair's awful. I forgot my straightener. So it's starting to get curly and I'm not a fan of that one. So anyhow, but yeah, um, I'm gonna, gonna brush my teeth now and we're gonna go eat and mall America. And then if time permits, I might take her to the museum. We'll see. What museum? What is it? Art. Well, we'll just keep you guys updated with whatever happens. Did you just hear me lose my voice? That was weird. So this is the final look. We got makeup done. Um, I'm wearing this necklace and my 14 country necklace. This is the dress. Um, we've got these shoes, bare paw sandals, dress. So we're gonna go to the wedding now. <laughs> I'm so excited. God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother to be united to his wife. Since I didn't want to get copyrighted by putting in all the music of us dancing at the reception and their first dance and everything, I decided that now would be a perfect time to talk about the bride and the groom and just who they are to me. So first off, Emily, I just want to start by saying congratulations and best of wishes in this next chapter of your life. I want to thank you for always being someone I could look up to as I grew up, seeing you at youth group things. I've always admired you for your boldness, positivity, love for the Lord, and constant kindness and generosity to everyone you're around. On top of that, you made the most beautiful bride, and I'm so happy for you. You've always made me feel so welcomed, even though I was the weird pastor's kid, you still allowed me to hang out with you and all of your friends. Like, I remember <laughs> after youth group one time, Emily and her friends were all sitting at a table doing the cup song, and they invited me over and taught me the cup song and everything, and I just felt like the coolest kid on the planet that they were just so kind to me and inviting. And speaking of all of your amazing friends, shout out to Carly and Julia and Nicole for hanging out with me this weekend. Even though I'm so much younger than you, you guys are all just so sweet. Carly, you're the coolest, and I love your spirit and mindset about life. You just always make every situation literally so much better. Julia, it was so nice to meet you. You're so fun, and I appreciate your support with my videos. You are super caring and welcoming, and I loved getting to know both of you a little bit more. And Nicole, I also appreciate you tons. Thanks for not making the whole me throwing up situation, like, super awkward. I really appreciate your help with everything, and you just always make me feel so welcomed and loved also and give me a reason to laugh about whatever the situation is. So thank you to all of you guys. And Drake, it was so nice to get to know you a little bit too. You're a super cool guy and incredibly talented. Thank you for taking care of Emily and making her so happy. God has a plan for your lives together, and I'm so excited for what is to come for both of you. Have fun in Bali, Italy, and I'll miss you both so much as you begin your journey together, living in Albania for the whole next year. I'm praying for both of you, and one more time, congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Fulstad Friesen.